What's up everybody, Titan here with another how-to video. This time it is how to use and download the Pokemon Universal Randomizer. And I did make a video on how to do the exclusively Emerald one, but somebody commented, how is this better than the Universal Randomizer? And I took a look at the Universal Randomizer and I 100% agreed that uh, it's not better. And in fact, the Universal Randomizer is a hell of a lot better than what I had for the Emerald Randomizer, because you can use any game, but I'm going to show you the Pokemon Emerald just to show you how to do it in case you want to do it with Emerald. First of all, this is the Visual Boy emulator, and you just click the download now. It'll have this little pop-up box, and there's the, you got to wait for this link to count all the way down in order to be able to use it, but... You can also, like I said, use this randomizer with any Pokemon game whatsoever. You just have to download the DS emulator if you want to be able to use that certain game. Uh, if it's either Diamond or Heart Gold or Black or X, if you can get an X. I haven't really looked for a Pokemon X, but there's the emulator. Here's Pokemon Emerald. Very easy to find. Uh, really any ROM that you want to on Google just type in what game you want and ROM with it and you'll be able to find it pretty easily but I'm gonna show you how to do it with Emerald and then I'll show you it with also Black too because I have Pokemon Black on here that I played because uh, I've never played Pokemon Black before and I wanted to but here's the Universal Randomizer there's a bunch of information for it on here and some screenshots if you are interested in that but that's not what we care about we want to just go to the downloads Click the get it by clicking here. That's exactly what we do. We go to this screen, click that file, and save the file. So the one thing that we do need is, in order to unzip everything, is WinRAR. It's not in there, but I'm going to show you here. WinRAR. You can Google that and find it pretty easily. But that is taking a little bit of time, so... We're going to unzip the Visual Boy Advance first. You want to have a folder on your desktop in order to get these, just to make it easier. I uh, named mine random. All you got to do, click exact, uh, extract to, I should say, and that will extract that to that. The randomizer as well, extract to, and click random, and it will extract to that. And lastly, Pokemon Emerald. You can then extract that to the random and everything is right you can go to your main menu your desktop here and it'll have everything that you need so I'm gonna show you the universal randomizer here and you'll see a bunch of different things here that the emerald one didn't have and this one's pretty cool so if you did everything right you go to your your desktop you find random or whatever you name it and then the game will be in there, it'll load it up, and you can change a whole bunch of things and there's some general options. Update moves, which I'm guessing just puts the move set for the 6th generation, is my guess. Remove trade evolutions, which would I'm have a base level evolution. You can even, you know, scroll over these. Oh, sorry, Gen 5 it has this. So, you can scroll over each of them, and it will tell you exactly what it does even so that's fantastic and if you do emerald it won't give you all of the generations of pokemon it will just give you the first three so that's a little bit of a control on there instead of just doing emerald because it's not programmed with all 700 or whatever some pokemon it just has the first three generations which is still pretty cool and you get pokemon types so you can change the pokemon types of each Pokemon which is interesting if you want to make it exceedingly random wild Pokemon that's what you really want for a randomizer if you want it to have random wild Pokemon the move sets can be random I mean every single thing that you possibly could want could be random so gives you a whole lot of options you can save it here and it'll, it'll save your options. But I'm going to show you um, also Pokemon Black. So here's Pokemon Black. 
And it'll load up Pokemon Black. Takes a little bit longer for the DS game. But you can see here, it has all 5th generation Pokemon and all the other ones. Like the 5th generation, Black and White didn't have any other Pokemon. It'll have all 5 generations of Pokemon up to this point. So it's pretty handy, really cool. And if you're interested in doing something random, then that this is the way to go. It's the best randomizer that I've ever seen. So I thought I'd redo my video and then put this one out. So that is all that I have for this video. So I will thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.